Am I muted now? No, I'm not muted. Haha, <laughs> good call. Okay, so hello again. Boom. I'm not here. Boom. Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Discord. Uh, Discord? OBS decides to um, change settings just because, right? My mic was not picking up the, the thing. The mic is over here, as you can see. But it was like, nope. No, I, m I might slap it because it's a HyperX where you can. But then you can hear me because I can tap it and mute it. But. But it was not the case. It was OBS. So yeah, here we are. Did you see that? So we're going in a side quest bonanza. So who. Oh, food again? Seems the high boys lost. I'm always working for that muggle. But mo muggle muggle. I'm, I'm always working for him. But yeah. Here. Okay, let, let's go this to this. Situation, Clive. You can bloody well get me out of it. What? I need a hand with a recipe. Oh no. Are you sure it's me you're looking for? I'm not much of a cook. I'm all the cook will be needing. Thank you very much. What I want from you is a little of your time, right? Oh, and uh, perhaps your sword. You remember Ivan Stew? Right? Yes, that's well, an awful. Despite the look of the thing and that awful stench, uh -huh. people will sit down. Well. So I thought I'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces myself. Had a peek at the book and gave it a go, but, well. It wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. Ivan had the same problem. <laughs> yeah, but this is my blooming kitchen, and I will not be outdone. So if you don't want to be seen <laughs> as playing favorites, I suggest you lend me a hand. Well, what I'm sure do we have, to play right? Favorites, Molly. And I would be only too happy to lend you a hand. Unless uh, you want to, you know, wake up with a knife in your chest. A fried a kitchen mattress knife, of that? Skyworm. That's one heck of a name, innit? Recipe seemed easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd followed it to a T. Only, uh -huh. turns out Skyworm livers and Drake's mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they're not, given the rancid mess they made. Ivan said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. Who's to say the ingredients even exist anymore? Well, that's a question for a scholar, wouldn't you say? Perhaps you know of one? Kindly old fella who haunts the shelves, maybe? No idea. Fine. <laughs> I'll go and speak to Harpocrates. Perhaps he'll know something. And All he if knows he does, is... I'll see if I can find your ingredients for you. This is nuts. You do that. He, he has his Lest nuts. we forget. You've got a reputation to uphold. Is that a threat? <laughs> Is that a threat, lady? Huh. Okay. Well, we do have a another cypress inside the library. There's a storm coming, Sid. Will there be thunder? Kids. Sid, perhaps you can help me solve a mystery. I can certainly try. I love mysteries. Come Who's on. gone missing this time? Hit me. It's not who, but what. Mid scales, the ones she made for her workshop. Uh huh. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, no, they vanished. My first thought was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared, which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. Perhaps a visit from Sid. We'll jog their memories. <laughs> I think it just might. Thank you. I don't like to imagine that my pupils would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but to discipline them accordingly. Mm -hmm. They were in the atrium when I last saw them. And they should be hanged, I mean, as always. Fact. Children. I'm coming for you, children. No, it's not you, but I'm coming for you anyways. Hello, Harpocrates. Norseman Harpocrates. I've come to pick your brain Why if you don't mind. so polite? It's about the book you lent Ivan. Ah, Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage, a classic. One of my favorites, in fact. The young man did a wonderful job with the Chancellor's stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels in due course. That's oh. actually why I'm here. I don't suppose you know where I might find Skyworm livers and Drake's mint. Ah, 
So the fabled Sandbrickwa delicacy is next on the menu. Delightful. <laughs> the descriptions of fried mortress never fail to make my mouth water. How do you know that hypocrisies? Now, <laughs> Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the Wyvern. Their ground livers being the paste from which the mortress is made. Mm -hmm. Dragon livers. How oh, very Sambraqua. One would have thought Indeed. the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. Hey, more respect. We do have Bahamut specific sleeping dragon the recipe day. demands is the blueback wyvern, said to be the very color of the sea beside which it resides. So we know where to look for our liver. But what about the Drake's Mint? Saint's Bonnet, in contemporary parlance. A herb which grows along the North Reach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone. So I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life. In which regard, fried mortress of Skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. To Northreach, then. Best of luck, Clive. And do save me a bite once the dish is complete. Not the first one, though, man. Don't don't try the first one. It'd be bad. Here's a stone And to oh, that's right. We have letters, and we don't know how many cycles we can have in there. Did you see the pair that got pulled into time? That pair is my brother and 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 the king, I guess if some oh Master Clive, I apologize for this sudden and untoward gesture. Circumstances have forced me to seek immediate aid, and there is none other to whom I may turn. Your most esteemed Lord Uncle has presented me with the task most vexing, and I fear I am wholly unable to perform uh, to his vaulted expectations, namely due to the marked lack of martial aptitude on my part. To wit, I am but a manservant, not a mercenary. While I maintain the fitness ample to attend to the needs of the manor, to the ter to attending the bandits in the back alleys, I, so I am sorely ill-equipped. If it please you, my lord, for thee, Come and see me at Martha's rest, and where I shall proceed to explain my predicament in full. Sebastian Rutherford, Seneschal of Lord Byron Robsfield. Yes, yes, we are. Yes, I, I, I accept. Rutherford? Wasn't that the name of my uncle's manservant? Why would he be at Martha's rest? Because we have a bandit problem. Maybe in the city. It was just the one, though. <laughs> Look, it's weights. It's weights scarf. But this tippet, dyed red for the flames of the firebird and the blood of his fallen Rosarian brothers, does Sir Wade pledge not only his loyalty but the loyalty of the Guardians of the Flame. Man, such a uh, you you wouldn't expect that NPC to have lived, or, or that character to have lived, yeah. Yeah, the side quests in here, most of them, some of them are not, <laughs> but 95% of them. They are so tied to world building that, that it's just very good. What am I gonna do? <laughs> What's wrong, Goots? I reckon the skies are enough to give anyone call wobbles, but I am not gonna sit around hanging my head and fiddling my thumbs. Did enough of the uh, did enough of that back in Twinside while you were busy fighting that horrible dragon and then that even horribler one. But no more. From now on, I'm gonna do what I what you do what you lot do and properly pull my finger out. I don't wanna ask where. No matter how much my knees are knocking. <laughs> Can't have Nan and Blackthorn thinking I'm a big, <laughs> I'm a great big wet blanket now, can I? So don't you worry about me. You just stick to what you do best, saving the world. I love you, Goots. Is everything all right, Goots? You seem more discomposed than usual. <laughs> discomposed. 
I don't know what that means, but, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. <laughs> you're using all those hard words be because I don't know. And she's... <laughs> it's all right. You can tell me. <sighs> oh. <sighs> there was a trader came by. Yeah, yeah. One of our usuals, like, mm -hmm. said he'd heard some rotten rumors about her down Dallymill Way. Folk are saying she's been selling to bandits and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but, but she'd never do business with baddies. Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done out. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but well, I'm scared she'll give us a tongue lashing. She'd never give your tongue a lashing, though, would she? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll speak to her. Oh, thanks, Clive. You'll let me know what she says, won't you? Of course. I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. No, all this time. All this time she has been the true mastermind behind all of this. She's even behind she's Omega. She's not Ultima. She's Omega. Hello, Omega. Lady Karen. How's business? Not nearly as I love how his tone ever. changes with Karen. Ooh. Doing good trade. He's then. like, oh, like, like a little lady carrying in. Oh, in no, and I'm, I'm, I'm bad. out of the hideaway. Hmm. Can't complain. Wait. What exactly are you getting at? <laughs> not not once the in eyes. five long years do you pay my affairs half a care. Hey, that's not but true. Here you are today, raking me over the coals like a bloody popotto. Just Poto. asking. Out of interest. Right. She can see into your soul. All right. I'm here because I was told that oh, certain rumors she knows. have been circulating about you selling weapons to brigands. Oh, that, that's. Oh. Ah, yeah. And who was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? Oops. I. I, I didn't exactly hear firsthand. She knows. All I know is that someone in Dalamil has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? You think I'm profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look, I've done things I'm not proud of. Might be there were a time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could line my pocket. But that woman is no more. And you'd know that if you'd ever paid the slightest bit of notice. You're right, Lady Karen. I apologize. It was wrong of me to doubt you. No, it was. Oh. Now, I reckon you've got better things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old woman. Of course. Good day. Awkward. Goods. We are just, I mean, she will open that door and she will see us speaking with Goots. And Goots, it's a dead man. I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumors were unfounded and that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth, along with some other things that made her feelings clear. While it sounds she sounded kind like of disappointed, she may have though, done fine. things she regretted in her past, she says those days are behind her. Oh, well, How long in the past, though? That's good. Because the past is I two days ago, too. Caught up you know? in bad. But why would people say she was? What did she ever do to them? It's not right. No, it's not. But people do things for all sorts of reasons. Perhaps we'll never know. Well, I'm going to find out. That trader, he said they were all talking about her in Dalimil. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone who'll tell me. You'll see. Are you sure that's wise? Whoever's spreading these rumors means Karen ill. Oh, right. But that's why you'll be coming with me, isn't it, Clive? Of course. I suppose hey, it is. Go with Goots. And enjoy your time, Clive. Come on. 
<laughs> we here stand for goods. After I finish the game, I wanna I check all the voice the actors because I fear that if I try to look for any of them, I might spoil myself. But that guy, his rendition on on. What do you reckon we should do? On goods is just super. Love it. Children. You is Hugo, yeah. <laughs> Sid! Out of your studies, I see. And what is that? It's not a set of scales, is it? No. Of course it isn't. Uh huh. Well, not anymore, it's not. It's a hammer. <gasps> oh. It's upside down. How so long hasn't it been one? We're sorry. <laughs> but we didn't break them. We just dis dismembered, dismembered them. them. Oh. Just like Miss Mididol showed us. Miss Mididol? Why would she have you dismembering her creations? Yeah, yeah, yeah. little little hero that's is. The only is, way is to I mean, little penis is hero. Yeah, I know this. And I know that. The best um, way I see how to do it is to take it apart and um, put it back together her again. Well then, your work is already half ah, done. His sister, on. Hugo's sister. Uh, about that. The taking Amicia. apart was easy Amicia. enough, but that's right. It's the putting back we can't work out. Speak for yourself. The heavy thing goes at the yeah. bottom, then, then, um... You three need to learn to take responsibility for your actions. So let's have a look at these parts with fresh eyes, shall we? That scale right. looks awfully similar to... Everything here to was once Kuja's part of Mr. Adol's scales. Every piece has its own role to play, and each is just as important as the others. If even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. So let's think about what those roles might be. You already know one of the pieces. The body. Its role is to support everything else. But what of the others? Uh, the arms. This is called the arm. Why do you suppose that is? It doesn't look much like an arm. You're right. It looks more like a wing. <gasps> like a chocobo wing! Not Bobby Corwin wing! You've ridden a chocobo before, haven't you, Sid? Yeah, of course. Will you teach me to ride one one day? Ever. I'll think uh, about it. I mean, second to Bobby now, Corwin. What do arms do? Hold things. So wait, maybe this arm holds things too? Good thinking. You're on the right track. These round parts are called the pans. You all know what a pan is, don't you? I do. Molly uses them in the kitchen. Yeah, we have to bangers. fetch some ingredients for her too. For frying bangers, so you better idiot. hurry up. They're for weighing stuff. But what if I wanted to weigh goots? I don't think you'd fit on that little thing. <laughs> Probably not. No. What are the chains for? Holding the pans up? Well spotted. Which means something must hold the chains up in turn. The arms. This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Mididol's dungeon is full of them. <laughs> Most are on the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round and round and round and round and. That's right. I'm already dizzy. They're very useful when you want to make things move. Do you remember if there was anything on the scales that moved? I remember the arm moved when I tried weighing an apple. And then somebody ate it. Uh oh. Not my fault. You shouldn't have tried weighing it before lunch. <laughs> you know what part's supposed to move and how it's supposed to move. So, let's put the pieces together first, see what doesn't move, and then stick the cogwheel to that. Not a bad idea. You see? It's not so difficult. Good job, kids. You've learned logic. So, now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's what we'll do. You tell me what goes where, and I'll put the scales together. Well, obviously you need to start with the body. All the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body, just like real arms. Oh, wings. wings. If you're a chocobo. 
And then the arms hold the pants by the chains. Very good. Let's see if that works. Ah, all finished. Yes, we did it. Well, well with Sid's help. <laughs> oh, I just put the pieces together. It was you three engineers who showed me how. That's right. We miss Middle's hairs. Hairs. Uh, hairs. <laughs> yeah. Hairs, for, hairs the for the future. Yes. She's showing yes. us her secrets now, so we can help out the hideaway when we're older. <laughs> what do you think, Sid? Are we almost ready? I mean, With her hair is taller than you for sure. Shirley, I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> you hear that? It won't be long. Until then, though. Do try to be honest with Miss Shirley. Hey, look. We never used the cog wheel. You don't think Sid forgot about it, do you? Uh oh. Shh. We did not. We did not. Okay, wait. Let's casually just walk in on them. Hello? Didn't happen to forget anything, did you, Sid? No. No, it's not there. You don't see it. Uh. So what here? And then we run past here. I, I, I have to write it down. Because I know that I will forget. I think it was the fills of Kor Kor Korova, Kor Korova, Kor Korava, Korava, Korava fields. <laughs> Sounds too much like Corona. Uh, south of Tavern, which is yeah, to the fields of Korava with a. And then obtain same bonnets at the North Reach Coast. And the blue back wyvern. So everything. Is a storm coming, Sid? Would that be. Well, did you solve the mystery? It was as you thought. The children had the scales, or the parts of them at least. Mm. They dismantled them to see how they worked. Oh, no, Mid will have my head. No, she Thankfully won't. Thankfully, she won't. This might even have been her idea. Although I was the one who ended up teaching the lesson. Well... I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I shall see that the children are properly punished. Please, there's yes, no need. Yes, them. I mean... Mid seems to have taken the three of them under her wing. Maybe chop their She's fingers. She's calling them her heirs. She'd have them no, follow in her footsteps. No, it's her heirs. And her father's. I see. Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She told me it was because her studies have been interrupted by events in Canva. Nope. Is that not true? No, it isn't. The university offered her a commission. In exchange for full tuition, room and board, they asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. To anyone else, it would be an opportunity, but to Mid, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill, one she was none too keen to swallow. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people hope. The very last thing war can be said to do. Which explains her heirs. She's working to give them a better life. And so should I. Everybody's so... What's the odd engineering here. lesson? Ah, uh, you've given them far more than that. And I'm sure they're very grateful. Mine is the cogwheel. Well, it's not complete, technically. We, we missed the part. A fundamental part. That nobody will notice. So, now we travel. Ah. There is a... Problem though, we cannot move anywhere but here. So, guess we go.
I thought we were traveling with. Oh, <laughs> hello. The dog, the brother, the lady. Oh, man. Hello, sad piano. You're, you're touching my soul. Stop. It's like a dream. The four of us out walking like we used to. Yeah. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. Oh, Clive. Right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Candle was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. Yeah, I want to know more about her. Because we barely know anything about her. Spit it out, Yoshua. Hello, Yoshua. I love your trip. Look at you. Look at you. Question. Can we move? Yes, we can. Okay. Let's start at Martha's Rest. We just needed that cutscene, that camera pan, and then that was it. Oh, the Bobby Corwins are better. Yeah. Okay, what's going on here, mister? Oh, Yoshua comes with us, too. I thought that he would only be in, in the, that place, but... My lord, Marcus, is that you? It is, Rutherford. It is you. Then you received my letter. I am Sebastian Rutherford, chief steward of your lord uncle's estate. Of course. We met once before. Yes, my lord. Thank you for coming. And what was so sensitive that you couldn't put it in writing? A thousand apologies, my lord. I did not mean to offend. I merely... It's all right. Yeah, cut it Continue. out. I am here at Martha's Rest, at the behest of your lord uncle. Tasked with learning what I am able of the realm's current state of affairs. And what I have learned is grim. The fall of the Mother Crystals has left Storm in a state of utter disarray. The subsequent darkening of the heavens has only made things worse. Akashic attacks, once unthinkable, are now commonplace. The gears of governance have ground to a halt, and without a steady hand on the tiller, the realm threatens to drift into utter chaos. Your lord, uncle, uh, however, believes there is a way to avoid this fate, and is determined to see it set in motion. And so are we. That sounds like quite the undertaking. It is. Hence my having enlisted the aid of several colleagues serving the seven high houses. Oh. Alas. Alas. They are not willing to cooperate. I have lost contact with two of those colleagues already. They are both able-bodied and trained in the sword, yet in these dark times, even that may not prove sufficient to keep a man safe on the road. So you want me to find them? I'll need to know where they went. One I sent to investigate the Republic, the other the old Imperial capital Two of places Oriflam. where we're bound to. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. I suppose... I'll start in Dalamil and work my way east. Thank you, my lord. I shall pray for your success and safety. Please do. So, Dalamil. We have a lot to do in Dalamil. We have the hunt, we have goots, and we have this now. Um, local map. So that's good. This is the other one. And then... Uh, it was towards the hills of... Might it be here? The Cattery. No, the Cattery was where we fought something else. Have we gone into this section over here? I don't remember. No. First things first. Goots. Mm. 
It's not going to be easy finding one man in an entire Republic. Let's hope someone here has seen something. It shouldn't be too hard to find goods. The gentleman of the town guard. <laughs> Fuck! How the hell did they find it? No one knew where I was keeping that kill. What's it worth to you? Uh, I've got a hundred gill and a chocobo feather. <laughs> Goods. Uh, Clive, listen. I found someone who says he's heard the rumors about Nan. By Have you? So go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said. A wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price, be they knight or knave. Hmm. Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. And the more war being waged, the more call for swords and spears. And who will they all turn to to keep them in steel? Why, the good Reaper herself. <laughs> Reaper? And you've seen this Reaper at work. I it just so happens I have. You'll find her right here plying her trade most days. Here in Delamil. Where exactly? She has a stall here in the market, but if you're not the patient type, you can probably find her at her storehouse on the edge of town. But it'd be a bolder man than me that braved that particular nest of vipers. Oh, we feeling we bold traveler. I hope so. Trouble for your sake. In the nest. Now, if that's all, I have places to be. Sorry to have kept you. What a cryptic you man. You don't think Nan's the Reaper, do you? No. Not unless she's discovered the secret of how to be in two places at once. Eh? What do you mean? Lady Karen hasn't left the hideaway in weeks. So who has been running this store he spoke of? Good question. I'll go and have a look. No, don't. And I'll visit this storehouse on the edge of town. Oh, well, yeah. All right, but be careful, Clive. You too. You too. You have a knife. Uh, you too, Goots. You, you fight, Goots. So the edge of town. Which is the closest way to no. But this one we gotta Still go back. Swords in storm, good and hold a candle to oh. If only everyone here didn't have to look so glowery. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> the gentlemen of the town guard are back. The League of Merchants will do its best to cover the people's losses. We may not have much, but we have enough to go round. Oh man, we're traveling with Yoshua and Jill and Torgal. What a mess. Just. This is the best. Um, also, someone safe. should know. And with Hello, okay. Boober. Uh. Drake's fang has fallen. The sky is boiled. And the power of magic continues to wane. The light of ether has driven countless thousands. Thousands from their homes, while those in whose lands it remains plentiful fortify their borders, determined to keep its blessing for themselves. <sighs> now that all who flee are, are deserving of sympathy, the bandits who attacked us may have been driven by desperation, but their brutality was inexcusable. It is a question of methods. If they had come to us bearing begging bowels instead of blades, we would have gladly spared them what we could. But something tells me. Those brutes would rather starve than accept charity willingly offered. There are, they are the cornerstones upon which Dalamil will be rebuilt. And though the, that rebuilding has only just begun, they are already proving more than sturdy. I always knew that Natalie and Conrad had it in them to drag us out of the muck. They had only to stop flinging at each other at, at one another's and start working together. Victor, too, is doing his part. He has been tra 
uh, training Conrad's men in the art of a blade, they will soon be a rival to any troop of, in the Republic. Meanwhile? Natalie and her league of merchants are collecting donations from the townspeople that we might see our stores fill, the stores filled. More moons ago, suggesting that the merchants of Danano might ever band together for the sake of anything other than profit would have had you laughed out of town. Proof, if any more were needed. But Dalanu is much changed, and entirely for the better. Do not fear for us, Clive. We are, will be all right. My comrades and I have been keeping a watchful eye on the dark clouds in whose shadow we find ourselves, and the vultures that trail in their wake. Though we may have weathered their last assault, I fear we may not be so lucky should the bandits choose to attack again. If they do, those of us who can fight must be ready, so that those who cannot, the children, the elderly, stand at least some chance of weathering the storm. Victor has been a great help. He has lent his strength and knowledge to the town guard, and has been aiding them in organizing our defenses. And defend Dalamil we shall. The only outlaw who will be setting foot in this town is my good friend, Sid. If you see any bandits on the road... Oh, I'm going to visit do. one. Or a couple of them. We may have driven the bandits back once, but what's left of them are still out there nursing their wounds. Uh, nope. No, girl. Let's go. Ah! Wrong exit. <laughs> okay, stables, never mind. Girl. I'm bros here. Never mind. Sorry. It's pretty close. I don't need her. I you just run. Very bravely. Safety of the town is in power. Sprint. That Time man. to brave the viper's nest. Yeah. Knock knock. Just you, is it? <laughs> Thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. Right. So, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death, or a quick one. Boys, he's all yours. But that sword is mine. Mm. You. Can we fight him, though? Oh, yeah, well, we could pretend this didn't happen. Oh, you're so wow. I'm not used to getting beat by you. That's a combo attack. It's so cool. Over here. Hey, muscle, but he's a caster. Ow. You, sir. Let's go. Super dumb. After this, I'm changing something for behind I haven't even tried it. As much as I love, um... Oh, you've done it now. Yeah, I was looking at the blood on Clive, and then it, it would have... Tell me what I've done. absorbed it. When the Borgwing finds out you've killed his men, <coughs> he'll have your head. He only wanted that 
bull of a manservant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. No. You weren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. But then you turned up. Well, go on then. If you're going to end me, end me. No, we can. You're not worth the effort. In prison. Now be gone. No, Clive. Before I change my mind. <laughs> Fucking coward. Oh. I need to find you're goods. You're super brave. Right now. Yeah, we need to find goods right now, but first uh are we just going straight for him oh dear get your filthy paws off me you naughty painted lout hey stop calling me names yeah good and stop spreading them horrible lies about nan well, that will be easy enough. Man, you can crack his head with your lies. bare hand. Come on. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood. Blood! Goose, are you all right? He, he, he's gonna kill Nan. He said she had to pay in blood. After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime, and I will not allow it to continue. And how has she, though? Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you. Only with your employer. Run along now. You need not pay for her sins. No. No? I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her. Or I'll... Or I'll... Or I'll kill you myself! Wow. Goot. No. Enough, all of you! Nan? Karen. But how did you... <laughs> You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. <laughs> did you think I wouldn't notice the two <laughs> of, of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking, who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain sniveling shit I ran afoul of in my fairy years came to mind. Well, got roasted. Though it was just Bogart. Got roasted. Back then, won't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense. But I see you're the same pants-pissing craving you've always been. What was it we called you? Wet legs. Wet legs. <laughs> you. You bitch! Oh, 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 shut your mouth, sir. Everything that happened, it was all your fault. No. Back. And now you'll finally pay for what you did to me! Goose, you... If you want a piece of Nan, you'll have to go through me. Fuck. <gasps> you great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs, you remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Oh, yeah. Wise words, Sam. Wise words. And now it's time to collect. Oh. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. You didn't do anything to him, did you? Is he... Dead? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean it. Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same routes. Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. 
So I took some of my own. Sorry lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor Goots into this. Oh, poor Goots. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs too. <laughs> but what if he comes back again? What if he does? First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. Oh, you did take his eye. Okay. He'll learn his lesson soon enough. But something tells me the wet legs has learned it already. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough See? attention already. It's like it was not just Drag, Clive. for the fun of it. Because it it looked cool on an old lady to, you, to have one blind eye. And you get the story behind it too. Though. See, that's how you do side quests. That's how you do it. Period. Okay, now... Someone's got himself in trouble. Look at all those bandits. Oh, it's, it's that guy. I don't see your master here. So you can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse. I already told you, I have nothing. <laughs> then maybe we'll take that pretty outfit and the steel you're wearing. No, you won't. Uh, uh, please! These men are trying to rob me! I'll deal with this. Thank you. Are you that one's master, then? Kind of. If you kindly pay the coin he owes us, we can pretend you didn't draw your blade on Republican soldiers. Or you can go back to your garrison and I won't report you to your captain. Or... Oh, you're more than welcome to. Okay. He hasn't had many visitors. No, I didn't. Oh, shit. His throat. I didn't. Uh. Can I do it now? No. Oh, come on. He says it's over, but it sounds like it's over. Is that rough or his voice? See, he's, he's absorbing the blood of his enemies. That's why I expect as much from Hugo's faithful, but these were men of the fist. Much has changed in the Republican army since they lost their rock. You've seen this kind of thing before then? Many times. I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. He sent me to look for you. Well, then you have my thanks. I fancy I could defend myself against one, perhaps two, but a whole regiment. But I arrived in Dalamil several days ago, but when I called upon the captain of the local garrison to make inquiries, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. The captain is no more, and his men make the rules now. Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free, only to be stopped again by those soldiers you so kindly dispatched. What are the fists you are central welcome, sir. Surely they wouldn't allow such lawlessness amongst their ranks. I would imagine they are unaware of it. Most of the army has fallen back to the capital and hunkered down behind her walls. Hmm. Those who weren't recalled now rule the fringes unchecked, answering to no one but themselves. Yeah, that's worse than we imagined. You should return to his area. It's not safe here. 
I'll find a caravan heading north. Uh, you won't mind if I borrow one of these soldiers' coin purses? No. All yours. All yours, Not sir. Not at all. No. To find this second associate of Rutherford's. Oh, we have to go north. If he was bound for Oriflam, I'll start at Northreach and see if I can pick up his trail. Okay, now, before we do that, maybe they're around here? No, we do need a bro skin. It's a long distance. Let's go. Wind! Shiny. Here we go. I'm really just like, no, I'm not having it. Fine. Uh, straight ahead. No, leg eater. Don't. Akashic Eagles. Here too. Hmm. What? They 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 said something. Yeah, there was a place which I don't remember the name of. But blood. Oh, it, it's those guys. The the the, the what you call them? They're gonna. Oh, we gotta go past it. Okay. I see. Well, these are probably the two merchants that we found before. And now they're they're in for some payback. No holding back. Oh, that's a buff kitty. Oh, come on. If you're not here, then where are you? It was tell us something, something. Titans wake. No. Uh. Don't think it's gonna be here, right? Is the mayor's not? Are you the pack? No. No, you're not. Well, the only other place around here that I would take a wild guess would be here. But it was somewhere in the filter grava. Tavani. No. It's none of those places. You know what I need to do? I need to take a screenshot of the thing. And then have it somewhere handy. But boomer. Or write it down. That's also something I could do. Don't don't mind me, birds. Because I remember we fought, we fought something. It was like a, a, a also another pack of wolves. He didn't even flinch. That's great. It's 
not them. Is it this place again? Straight home now. Change items now. <laughs> we did not go up here. This is where the leader of the pack was. Aha! <laughs> okay. So it was not there. It's probably not here. The jaw? No. Maybe it's one of these places? That we have yet to explore? It's not there. It did say the road to the fields of Krava. So maybe it's somewhere around here, but... <sighs> Tavani. Wait. Wasn't it Tavani or some shit? I remember it started with T. Maybe it's here? Well... Anyhow, first things first. Thank you for your service, Titan, but Bahamut. What's your thing? What is this? Oh, it's like a... No! Let's refund this. And put it in here. Actually, no, take that back. So we transform into that. Then we use it. Okay. So the longer you're casting it, the better it is. That looks cute. But I don't think it's what we want. This one sounds more like what I want for comboing shit. So it's going to be Flare Breath and this one. You can... what the fuck? You can use other abilities here? You can. Oh. Oh. The Flare Breath should go in here, and this one should be Impulse, was it? No. Giga Flare. There we go. Is there a place that's closer to this one? No. It's running around time! Yay! Oh, I want to change. Well... Be safe. Get 
Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's go. I wonder if we'll ever get like a carbuncle or some shit like a support icon. Hello, Donald. We bye. If I were a bag of wolves, where would I hunt? Pearl! No mistakes. Leave me alone, Pearl. Are you the pack? Don't look like a pack. to be somewhere That's convenient. But we cannot go in there. Maybe it is this road here, south. Then it's somewhere around here. I don't know. For now, we are moving forward. Wait. Do we have any other side quests around here that I'm not? No, it's. it's we need to move the plot forward for that. So now the only one we have is this one, Saint Claw. Saint Claw. Or a flam. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, so there's one right here. There's a lot of road between here and the capital. Rutherford's man could be anywhere. <laughs> Mega Flare is zero. Can I ah. preemptively charge it? No, you have to be combat up. Hello? What happened here? If you're with the others, they've already relieved me of my belongings. I'm not. I'm looking for someone who was sent here by a man named Rutherford. And then you found him. I am Alastair Rockford, attendant to the Lady Ariane of House Wellesley. Of the seven high houses of Rosaria. It's been a long time since last I saw my great aunt. Is she well? My Lord Marquis? Uh, yes. Yes, she is. The Lady Dowager has granted me leave to assist your Uncle Stuart. I was on my way back from the old capital when I saw some villagers being robbed on the road here. They left you a story, though. Right they there. They more like field hands, but... It didn't matter in the end. I did what I could to help the victims, but all it earned me was a pommel to the temple. How? Which way did they go? South, toward the gate. All right. <laughs> yeah, lots I'll of take care of them. I mean, Anna knows I've met enough of their kind. Big capital, Satcher. What Visit happened? The veil, they tell them I sent you. Thank you. Bound to happen. I shall. Founder be your shield. I remember how the people were here. 
that they were not precisely the, the most friendly bunch. Especially not towards Brandon. They just couldn't resist, could they? Oh, hello. This one's ours, pretty boy. Mega flare. Has grown cold and bleh. Disgusting. <laughs> if you ever drink it, don't don't let it go cold. Make for the town while you can. There may be more bandits nearby. You don't need to tell me twice. Many thanks, traveler. You are welcome. This looks to be all of them. I thought I told you to make for the veil. Vale. And stand by as ill might befall the heir to the ducal throne. <laughs> it's just Clive, and I'm fine, which is more than can be said for you. Yeah, you're like a little beat up. Strange that the garrison wouldn't intervene in such a brazen attack so close to their gates. The garrison have their hands full inside the city. Some days they don't even send out patrols. There are few hands left to work the fields, and even fewer to transport the grain. The market stalls are nearly bare. And the price for what remains is exorbitant. It's not uncommon to see a fight break out over a crust of bread. When I said the ones who attacked me didn't have the look of bandits, I meant it. They were well. probably just desperate. Rockford, listen to me. If you are to continue your investigation, you first need to seek the attention of a healer. I... Of course. I shall return to Northreach right away. Yeah. But allow me to thank you first. Had you not happened along, I... Don't thank me. Thank Rutherford. It was he who sent me. I suppose he'll be wondering where I've got to. I shall send a bestolus as soon as I'm able. Good day. Good day to you too, sir. Well, my uncle certainly has his work cut out for him. If it isn't already too late. I should go and tell Rutherford that his colleagues are still in one place. No, we should go here. Yes. And and get the ingredients we need. Man, if you can dodge shit and then get charged. Mega Flare is just gonna be bonkers. And I use it all the time. Nothing like a little unrest. Especially in like AOE situations. It's gonna be great. There were ghosts at the gates, not days now. Ghosts? Oh, oh, it was those. Well, not the Akashic. The friend. Ultima spawn. That's what I call it. Mm. 
It does look ominous, right? An abandoned capital. That big. To the meadow, then. Come on, come at me. Do you see that blue drink? And bright yellow flowers. Should be easy enough I to see spot. yellow flowers. I see blue dragon. <laughs> this must be our wyvern. All right. Let's get this over with. Yeah, we definitely need to level this one up. That, that's a great, great, great attack. And if you combine that with a uh, tornado, the liver. That's the wyvern's liver. Now I just need to find the herbs. Bright yellow with a heady scent. We might have to change the order of. Uh... I think that's everything Molly needs to resurrect her recipe. Better head back. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Well, no, we need to go back to Rosaria to inform. The dude. Rutherford or something like that. Cut! I see you're still here. Mm. The rest's location affords a constant flow of traders, and with it, a constant flow of information. Speaking of which, I received word from both my associates. They have resumed their investigations, thanks to you. Yeah. I only happen to be in the right place at the right time. They both seem to think the realm's prospects rather grim. I am afraid that Grim would be putting it lightly. Yeah. Storm is in crisis, and if we are to free her, we must work quickly. And we must work together. Such is your Lord Uncle's wish. We should go and meet him, though. He is in trouble. But what can we do to, you know, a couple of cyclists? We cannot just leave them there. Ooh. Well, maybe not. Wait, wait, wait. Well, let's be optimal here. Because we, we're not using this. 
So give me back my points. And what else are we not using? This we're not using. So... We're definitely enhancing that one. Wow! Costs a fortune. I don't know if I like that one, but I do. I do, it's Bahamut. Uh that was it here. You need to go back. Hello, Yotra. Mindless though they are, an Akashic horde large enough to besiege the free cities is not to be trifled with. We must proceed with caution. Yeah. If we're all here, then it's all good. Okay, let's see what this seems the hideaway has like. lost its appetite. So, did you have that word with Tomes then? I did, and he was as helpful as ever. He told me exactly where to look, in fact. And what precisely will I be cooking up? Or is it better not to know? No, I think it's better not Blue to know. Wyvern liver. And uh, a herb. Known as Saint's Bonnet. Ah, wyvern livers, was it? Well, at least it weren't actual worms, I suppose. Yeah. Now then, you stay right where you are. I've got some cooking to oh, do. Oh, that bread, though. I see it back there in the oven. Uh, of yore knew what they were all about. watering. I, I could make some bread of my own. No, that doesn't look bad. And here we have it. Fried Mortress of Skyworm. Ivan's offered to make sure it's fit for consumption. <laughs> well, I say offered. He as good as begged. And rightly so. Is there any higher honor than partaking in a slice it of It looks good, though, history? but... Mm. The other one looked awful, but tasted amazing. Is this the other one around? <laughs> Are you alive, sir? So, not fit for consumption, then. What? What witchery is this? The crackle of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. Yet, it is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage dish. Uh -huh. It is a tour de force, a force of nature, even. A maelstrom of flavor and sensation. A graceful beast emerging from centuries of slumber. I think he Maybe likes well, it. I'm just sick and about well, I can't quite slumber. tell with all that nonsense he's talking. But I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. Decent? It's remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word to the contrary. Sit. Might I suggest no. that you command a party of your finest men and women to procure a dozen blueback wyverns forthwith? I'll give it some thought. Hmm. That's smart. We do have a lot of points now. Renown is going pretty well. And now, Karen. Nothing like a dish of cold vengeance to foul the gut. Uh -huh. uh, I'm sorry, Nan. I, I didn't mean to make things worse. I just thought I had to protect you. Like you've protected me. Aye. Well, someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a whip for your well-being. Reckon the both of us would be worse off if I'd not taken you on. Oh. You've always been me right eye, Goots. And I'd have you stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. Well, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again. And you can't stop me. Why, you big lump. Fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. 
Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. Oh, he's such a sweetheart. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. Yeah. That's his maybe. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then, he'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dallamil. He's a big boy. Don't think I didn't appreciate Child. that. Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good eye, mister. Oh. I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. <laughs> A potion today will cost you the same as it did yesterday. Well, that's great. At least it's not inflation sitting over. With all this shit that's going on now. Continental sensor? Oh. According to Karen, a sensor packed with the herbs and ambergris can be ward of everything from insects to the plague, protect a home from thieves and demons, and heal any number of ailments, all while bringing love and fortune. So you can read. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Are you speaking to me now? Directly into my mind? Do you see the pair that brought the uh, that I love this lady. Wait, wait. Uh, I'm gonna read that that um post again. Let's see. Nectar, you need to tell the clients to, to be less cryptic when they are writing. Traveling through Tabor to the fields of Karaba Tabor. Map. Where's Tabor? Traveling to Tabor through the fields of Karaba. Is this Tabor? I don't know. Has to be this, right? Tell if I need Tavor. Well, I bet if we keep going, we'll find it. Unless I am missing something. To Tavor. None of this is Tabor. Tabor might be somewhere around here, I don't know. Because this is not Tabor? No, this is Bachlin. Uh. Dalamil. Nope. Maybe it's the area we need to go next, so might as well go there. Uh, where was I? Here. Okay, plot time, maybe? A little bit at least. Ruins. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the echoes have a will of their own. Yeah, but what about here? Hello, Carl.
Treasure chest. Regal sash? What you be? Oh, it, it's this one. Wow. Among the citizenry of Dalmachia, there are those who hearken after the heady days of yore, when the realm was as yet divided into its continuing uh, constituent kingdoms. Constituent kingdoms. An age of glorious rulers in golden towers, before all was assert usurped by the bean-counting bureaucrats who now rule over the Republic. The little but legend re may remain of these kingdoms, those who find themselves disposed, uh, dispossessed and disempowered in the present draw strength from their imagined past. Well, it's a good out. Oh, you cannot. Ah. Oh, yeah, you can. I thought that you couldn't just blast bolts. Oh no! Th these are not gonna be a fight, are they? Right. No, no, don't pay attention to that move! Five move! Very cool. And those guys are more heading of the. Oh, there's a bomb with them. Hello. Hello.
activated those ones down there. I cannot jump down. Torrent? Well, no, don't mind us. We, we're 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 up here. You're down there. Just live your best life. Yes, yeah. strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. Hey. <laughs> Yashua, come on. Dirty. If it is two of them. Hello? I do. Where are you off to now then? Bound for the free cities, perhaps? Oh. No need to say if you'd rather not. We all have our reasons. I ain't exactly feeling like sharing with strangers myself at the mo. Truth be told, I could do with a bit of inspiration. Don't know which way to turn no more. I was doing a roaring trade back in Oriflam. Right up until the poor Drake lost her noggin. So, I thought I'd try me luck in the desert. Then the fang went the same way. And don't get me started on the mess in the blooming Dominion. I suppose I could try Camber next. But knowing my luck, the old place be crawling with a works before I'd even sight me stall. I always say, where there's crisis, there's opportunity. The opportunity to mint gill, that is. So, where to? Yeah, next? about that. If we're bound. Is there any money to be made in ash? Do orcs even carry gill? I do. No, 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 no. It's okay, it's okay. We'll just, just move, 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 Clive, move. If you wouldn't. Do what I want to know. We're bound for Canver. It's always bad news. Oh! <gasps> Yashua, could, can we help him? You're injured. What happened here? Where are your comrades? Oh, it was not the merchants. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My old men did this. Turned. Every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. There, that, that's, yeah, Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand a chance. We can't let those monsters... Reach the <laughs> Nothing we can do, Yashua. I'll go. You catch your breath. Thank you. Our encampment is. Yeah, I can see the ether flood. Just off the track. <laughs> they must not reach. Tabor. Uh, forgive me, Lord Kuka. Rest well, soldier. Poor dude. You said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Yeah, they they probably are. Look at that flood, though. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. Yeah. So this is where it's probably here. We can't go around it. 
Then we'll just have to be careful. Oh, there they are. Good. I got here in time. I'm sorry, Bobby Corwin. Uh, we needed a thousand. Points. Someone there! Please, I, I can't move my leg. That doesn't sound like an Akashic. No, it does not. Where are you, sir? Oh, there you are. With the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. You seem familiar. No. Have we met? No. You must have me confused with someone else. Where are you? Son of a whore. You're Sid. Oh, no. I was there in Kostnitz when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kuka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kuka shall be avenged! When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes, you are an outlaw, a murderer, not some, <laughs> some man like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not going to kill me, then go. Leave. Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. Ah. Uh... The spiral of hatred, it just does not end. I wonder if he'll be able to leave this place though. Because it's bad. Look at all the ether. Super toxic.
Almost a Tabor. Almost a Tabor. Are you the pack? No, not the pack. Okay, Yoshu. Okay. I got so I got so caught up in watching him fire. Uh, didn't even realize I uh, messed up my mega player. No antelopes run before I kill the by mistake. We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Good day. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. Well, now you've got four. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. Give me a minute. And wait a second. We can go up. No, oh my. Is there an exit? So it's these stones to Canva and the rest of the boxes. Look at this gazebo. Like, hello. It's a cool place. Oh! I seem to be more keen on, on speaking bird tongues, like Chocobo and How are those new boots owl, treating you? or Solus. Careful how you pack that leather. Any crystals? Yote, I'm, I'm willing to learn more about you. Yasha, are you coming in or what? Hello. It's okay. My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Does it? Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You do know about Altima, though. Much. You saved my brother. Before we did. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherr Jarl. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. 
Joshua. Mm -hmm. The Ein Heia is the royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima yeah. and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began and set a course due south. For Canva. Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas. The Icon King. Ooh, Odin. Eek. The Agora. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened hulls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The road teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. He, he looks like the guy from we, we just saved. Uh oh. Oh. Them. Distinguished members of the council. You must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you. What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. You're ultimate too, aren't you? Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashic. Has he though? It doesn't look like his. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons! You have an icon. Enough. Dominant. And yet, Sentetsuke. Yeah. Pathetic creatures. That you should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. Oh, all of them. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. No. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. That's Cargo? Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. Oh boy. So then, how long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas's actions, 
I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? You. The tapestry. Show them. That's what we saw in the ruins. I mean, the flames. Phoenix Gate. Yeah. Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Naught remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant. Even the undying. But I believe it may be the key. To discerning Ultima's purpose. That must be Mithas. A figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive, which is rather inconvenient. As it appears, he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No, I don't suppose they do. Hmm. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If, if, if that Shield. is your wish, your grace, but please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Farewell, my lord, my lady. Later, you'll take in your debt, Yote. I wish you came with us. Let's find our friends. But we have a lady to save. Hmm. That might not be Ultima, that might be us. It's plain she cares for you. Oh. Very deeply. And I her, which is why I had to let her go. That's sad. Are you buying or selling? Selling first and then buying. Do you have? Yes, you have. Of course. And then we, we do have. Go oh, safely. We, you too. Opportunity beckons. Who among you is bold enough to heed her call? Hello? Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. <laughs> Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade, that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Carava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity, but those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to sell? 
Eventually, to have a skinner behind us. No, I would have it tanned first, that it might be crafted into marvels, the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed, but the worked hide of a well-aged beast. Now nah, that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin, and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. Okay. All right. I'll hunt your Evis. Of course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Leave Tabor through the east gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Toveny, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Karava. And that's where I, I find eagerly the pack. await your safe and above all triumphant return. Good. Let's stop the recording there. Because this is going to be... Oops.